At the beginning, we find ourselves in a concert hall. Two musicians practice and a woman watches them intently. She takes out her phone to send a text, but as soon as she's finished, an explosion destroys the entire hall. Somewhere else, an unknown person, looking like the murderer, a black silhouette of a man, reads about the explosion on the internet and celebrates, knowing it has brought him closer to finally having a silent night again. Conan looks for evidence outside the concert hall while he, as Shinichi, chats to Ran on the phone. He spots an old man wandering in his direction, who bends down and carefully picks up a piano key from the piano that was destroyed in the explosion, storing it in his pocket. Ran tells Shinichi that Sonoko got tickets to a rehearsal and a concert at the new Demoto Concert Hall. Sonoko's father provided a lot of funds for the hall, and asks Shinichi to join them, asking if he can't take a night off from his investigation. Shinichi declines, and asks Ran, to stop meddling. Ran gets angry with him, replying he wouldn't be able to appreciate the music anyway, because he's completely tone deaf, unlike his role model Sherlock Holmes. She hangs up before he can reply. At the rehearsal, Sonoko introduces Ran, Kagoro and the detective boys to the artists that will perform at the opening concert for Demoto Concert Hall, Kazuki Demoto, a former famous pianist who now plays the organ, Takumi Fuwa, who used to tune Demoto's piano for him and has now been appointed director of the hall, Hans Muller, a German organ tuner, Jenya Demoto, Kazuki's son who is a pianist, Rara Chigusa, a soprano, Shayan Yamane, a violinist, and Reiko Akaba, a famous soprano singer. The children are delighted to meet Akaba and ask her a lot of questions about music, eventually getting her to agree to help their class choir in a choir competition where they sing the school anthem. Akaba reluctantly agrees because she also attended T10 Elementary. She immediately tells everyone to leave, telling them they're interfering with the rehearsal but it is likely she wanted to take pressure off Cheyenne who seemed rather nervous about having an audience. Ran confesses to Sonoko that she is still angry at Shinichi. Sonoko recalls that this is by far not the first time and that they didn't speak for a week during their last argument. She wants to comfort Ran, asking her how she and Shinichi made up again that time. Ran says they still walked home from school together even though they didn't speak and stopped when they heard a beautiful voice singing by the river. The song made them forgive each other, but Ran can't recall what song it was. The following day, everyone meets at T10 Elementary to practice the school anthem together, watched by Akiba. Ran plays the piano. Akiba gives her professional verdict to the choir, Genta was too loud, Mitsuhiko spent more time staring at Hybra than singing with emotion, Hybra sounds too much like an adult, Ayumi hit every note perfectly and sounded great, while Conan was comfortably the worst singer in the entire choir. Everyone laughs at Conan, who wonders if Akaba has perfect pitch. Genta has snuck away from the group and taken a thermos flask out of Akaba's backpack, asking her if he can have some of the tea she's got with her. Before she can stop him, he takes a sip from the flask and doubles over in pain. They rush Genta to the next hospital. A doctor brings him back after his examination and treatment, explaining that there were chemicals mixed in with Akaba's tea, which inflamed Genta's throat. Genta will not be able to speak for about four days. Akaba, Sonoko, and the detective boys accompany Genta home. Akaba says she wants to speak to Genta's parents about his behavior when suddenly a truck comes speeding towards them. They run and try to escape, pursued by the truck. Akaba trips and is about to be run over when a taxi appears and the truck takes a new turn and drives off. The culprit escapes. Two days later, Osamu Shiba, another musician working at the Demoto Hall, is killed by a gas explosion. Police retrieve the footpiece of a flute from the scene. The same day, Hisao Son, a violinist at the Demoto Hall, goes paragliding. His glider has been manipulated, someone has cut the fabric several times, and it catches fire, causing Son to plunge to his death in the open sea. Next to the hill from which he took off, the police find the headpiece of a flute. These two victims, together with the two victims from the earlier explosion, formerly belonged to a group called the Quarter Quintet. Conan decides to keep an eye on Akaba because he feels like he owes her something, but can't explain where he gets that feeling from. 
Akaba and Conan go for a walk in a nearby forest where Akaba likes to relax on the days before she has a concert. A mystery person with a gun follows them and shoots Akaba, injuring her leg. The unknown attacker pauses for a second too long, allowing Akaba and Conan to escape. Akaba implores Conan to keep this incident to himself as she does not want to miss the concert the next day. As she returns home, Megir, Takagi and Sada wait for her, waiting to speak to her about Hikaru Soma, her former fiancé. Akaba tearfully asks them to be patient, she does not want to be reminded of Soma's death a day before an important concert, but she promises the officers she will come and talk to them two days later. Megir and his officers inform Kagoro about Soma's death, saying the four murder victims and Soma played in a musical quintet together. The four men forced Soma to drink alcohol and directly contributed to his death in a car accident. Megir says this sounds like a possible motive for Akaba and that she should be included among the suspects. Conan wants to know if Soma has any surviving family members who might want to take revenge on the four musicians. Takagi explains Soma's mother died five years earlier and his father's identity and whereabouts remain unknown. Kagoro has a theory of his own. He accuses Genya Demoto of the serial murders, saying Demoto is a fanatic fan of Beethoven and wanted to take revenge on the five musicians because they badly butchered Beethoven's Ninth Symphony when they got drunk before a concert. Kagoro's evidence is Genya's haircut, which looks just like Beethoven's hairstyle in ancient paintings. Genya laughs Kagoro's accusations off, saying he inherited his curls from his mother and shows Kagoro a family photo to prove it. The day of the concert arrives and everyone meets at Demoto Music Hall. Sonoko hands the tickets to her friends, saying she has booked them seats on the balcony and left an extra seat for Shinichi. After rehearsals, Conan and Reiko decide to speak to Kazuki Demoto because they both heard one of the organ keys producing a strange flat sound. They can't find Demoto anywhere and leave the hall, going downstairs to the lake nearby. Someone sneaks up behind them and knocks Conan and Reiko out with a branch. When they come to, they find themselves in a boat on a dam, miles away from the concert hall. Something explodes near the hall. Since the building is soundproof, no guests or musicians would have heard anything. A second and third explosion quickly follow the first one. The fire brigade arrives and starts putting out the fires caused by the bombs which were planted on all the pillars surrounding the outside facade of the hall in an attempt to seal the hall off from the outside world. Conan looks around and notices a phone on top of a wall at the far end of the dam. He quickly explains his plan to Akaba, saying that phones work by translating sound chords, a combination of several notes played at the same time, into phone numbers. They therefore have to produce the sounds a phone makes when you dial 110, the emergency hotline. Akaba and Conan give it a try and Akaba says Conan must have perfect pitch as well. They paddle closer to the wall, Conan uses his ball belt to knock the phone receiver down and Akaba and Conan make the right sounds to dial 110, alerting the police to their whereabouts. Takagi and Sato pick them up with a helicopter and take them back to Demoto Hall. Conan spots the culprit watching the concert in a VIP box. He quietly explains his findings to Akaba, saying that there must be a bomb in the organ pipe they heard producing an irregular sound earlier. There are 24 bombs in total, 23 on each of the pillars outside and the final one in the organ, which is meant to destroy the hall and kill everyone inside. Conan uses his glasses to zoom in on the culprit and says they can't stop the concert because the culprit has a remote detonator in his hand. Akaba asks Conan what she can do and Conan says he needs time. Akaba quickly warms up and as the next song begins, she launches into Amazing Grace, a song that doesn't include the irregular key and keeps everyone safe for another four minutes. Demoto, surprised, decides to accompany her on the organ. Conan confronts the murderer on his balcony, Takumi Fuwa. Fuwa confesses. He killed the four musicians to avenge the death of his son Hikaru Soma, which was, indirectly, caused by his musician colleagues. He says he planted the bombs to get revenge on Demoto, who took away Fuwa's livelihood and his pride when he decided to stop playing the piano and start playing the organ instead. Without his son, his wife and his pride in being a professional piano tuner, 
Fuwa had nothing left he cared about and he wanted to silence the organ which had begun tormenting him in his dreams. Fuwa says Conan's deductions about the bombs were right as well. The final bomb is indeed in the concert hall itself. The strange note Conan and Reiko noticed is caused by an air-detecting sensor Fuwa planted into one of the organ pipes with the sensor being connected to the bombs. Each bomb detonated when the key was played on the organ. Since the difference would only be heard by someone who had perfect pitch, Fuwa took every one of them out before the concert to avoid being detected. He injured Soko Kawabi, attacked Reiko Akaba so she couldn't sing and locked Hans Muller up in a storage room. Fuwa reveals he left the parts of the flute at the murder scenes because he wanted the police to believe the musicians were killed by a serial killer who was after three people, when actually, Fuwa had always planned to kill four. As Fuwa's confession comes to a close, Demoto improvises on the organ and hits the trigger key for the 24th time. There is no final explosion and Conan explains he already removed the sensor from the organ. Fuwa Mok congratulates him and prepares to detonate the bomb by hand, but just as he wants to press the key, a bullet fizzes past him, knocking the remote out of his hand. Sato had been watching Conan and Fuwa and shot to protect Conan. Fuwa wants to shoot himself with his gun, taking it out of his pocket, but at this moment, Kazuki Demoto enters the balcony and remorsefully apologizes to his friend. He says he didn't tell Fuwa the actual reason he quit the piano to avoid hurting Fuwa's pride. Demoto had noticed Fuwa's hearing and therefore also his fine-tuning of the piano had been deteriorating as he got older, so, to protect Fuwa, Demoto decided to quit the piano in order to avoid hurting his friend. Fuwa breaks down and tearfully surrenders to the police. On their way home, Ren suddenly hears Amazing Grace being played on the violin in the wood nearby. She follows the sound but only finds Conan with a violin. Conan explains Shinichi was there just minutes ago, he played the song on his violin to apologize to and make up with Ran just like that day years ago. Ran and Conan meet up with Akaba a day later, having remembered that Akaba was the singer they heard when Ran and Shinichi made up after their argument in middle school. Akaba says Amazing Grace was Hikaru's favorite song because it was a song of forgiveness. On the anniversary of Hikaru's death, Akaba always goes to the river bank where they used to spend a lot of time and sings the song for him. The song made her decide to not pursue revenge on Hikaru's former colleagues. Conan wants to know why Ran knew it was Shinichi who played the violin after the concert. Laughing, she replies Shinichi has a strange habit when he plays and she immediately noticed that. Conan can't figure out what she means and goes to Shinichi's house to practice. Thank you for watching until the end of the video, remember to like share and subscribe to support our channel and don't forget to press the notification bell button to not miss upcoming interesting videos. See you later.